Congratulations to you, the Crystal Ray Boston class of 2020. You have persevered. In just this year, you saw new school leadership, both president and more impactful to you, principal, an early snowstorm, a great run in the basketball playoffs, followed by a global pandemic. The pandemic, which has upended all of our lives, has robbed you of the chance to celebrate together with your classmates your great victories and successes, but it has not affected your spirit or your commitment to excellence. We celebrate you today, you, the upcoming leaders of the 21st century. Your hard work and dedication has placed you in the position to be successful, next in college, then in life. But as you grasp this success and make it your own, don't forget the values that we hold foremost here at Crystal Ray Boston. Dignity, perseverance, growth, and generosity. Be a leader and a responsible citizen. Don't forget your family and your community who are proud of you today and share in your success. I will leave you with these words by Michelle Obama. You may not always have a comfortable life and you will not always be able to solve all of the world's problems at once. But don't underestimate the importance you can have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. Congratulations, Krista Ray Boston. Boston class of 2020. We are so proud of you. We're looking forward to the time when we can all celebrate together. Good afternoon all. I hope that everyone is doing well and is healthy and safe and I can't tell you what an honor and privilege it is for me to be able to do this uh, for you. I'd like you to recall back to late August when we had our orientation and I think about a third of you were there, if uh, memory serves me correct. Um, now here we are, all of you are here, uh, and all of us are here together. And what a year it's been for all of us. And, and again, as I've said to you many times during your school year, we are so proud of you, so proud of what you've had to endure, not just this year, but over the past four years. And for being here, you should be commended. I encourage you to read John Lewis, uh, who is the U.S. representative, who wrote a book called Walking with the Wind. And he had this important line that speaks to a lot of what you are going through. The line says, the people of conscience did not leave the house. Well, you, the class of 2020, are the people of conscience that did not leave the house. Where others could have left, or others left, you stayed and were better for it. So excellent work by all. You are a great class, but before we talk about your accomplishments, I'd just like you to reflect on someone, person, parent, loved one, guardian, that made it possible for you to be a Crystal Ray, particularly your parents. Please be sure you thank them, because after the gift of life, they are God's greatest gift to you. Now let's think of your accomplishments here at Crystal Ray. Well, let's think of the athletic. Under our senior leadership, our basketball team advanced the furthest it ever has in Crystal Ray history. Our senior cheer team showed the power of we, we are CRB, because as one voice you choreographed and spoke as the collective we of CRB. We had individual athletes get recognized for state and athletic accomplishments. These included Catholic Conference All-Stars and State Character Award winners. Our college acceptance rate is amazing. It's one of the best I've ever seen in 25 years of education. In late January, you as a group did over 100 hours of community service. Over 37 of you are in National Honor Society. We brought back our robotics team that has become the envy of other teams go on and on about all the great accomplishments you did as a class. But the most important accomplishment you did was what you provided for the underclassmen. Because the goal of education isn't about self-glorification. It's about the empowerment of others. And you empowered those 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students that you worked with in the library, that you gave up your extra time for. That's the goal of education. So please remember the following things. When you do leave and come back, know that you will be welcome back because it, this is our home. And as alums, we don't say welcome back, we say welcome home. 
So I'll leave you with this. We are CRB. Good luck and God bless. Hello, seniors. I want to congratulate you on an extraordinary journey through your high school career. And what you've been able to accomplish in your four years here at Crystal Ray has been truly remarkable. Even though I've only had the privilege to know you this last year of your senior year that I've been the director of corporate work study, I've had the privilege to get to know you and get to see you accomplish incredible things both at work and here at school. And although I've certainly gotten to know some of you better than others, depending what company you worked at, what I've seen in you this year, seniors, is you actually exhibiting our school's mission goals. You know, our mission goals are growth and dignity and perseverance and generosity. And what you've done, you know, your generosity and giving back to both the companies that you worked for and to our school in any number of ways, and the growth that you've experienced in your perseverance, the resilience you've shown overcoming incredible obstacles this year, not least COVID. Uh, but COVID was just the, the big one at the end of all the challenges you overcame in your college journey and everything else. You all have shown remarkable growth in your dignity, in your perseverance, in your generosity. And I wanna say thank you. I've learned a lot from you. And I'm really grateful and blessed that I've had the opportunity to spend this year with you. And I wanna say a deep word of congratulations to you. And I hope that you enjoy uh, this next step in your life to the fullest. And I'm really looking forward to celebrating your graduation with you live when it is safe to do so. So until then, congratulations, and I wish you all the best this summer.
My enduring memory of Marina is her uncontrollably yelling my name across the room in a silent class because she had an idea, question, or just a thought. The intensity and excitement of her yell in a room where there was consistently zero reason to raise her voice always made me laugh. But it also tells you a lot about Marina's love and enthusiasm for learning. She couldn't wait to share what she learned, so yelling was necessary. Another memory that stands out about Marina is when she couldn't read sections of Night without crying. I have taught that book for five years, and I have never seen another student cry while reading it. That just shows the empathy that Marina has for any person who is struggling. And when you couple her love for learning with her empathy for those struggling, it is obvious that she is going to leave her mark and make the world a better place. Oh, and she also happens to be one of the most intelligent, hardest working, and toughest students I've ever taught. I'm convinced that there is nothing she can't accomplish. Marina, your work ethic and desire for success has inspired me to be my best self since the day I met you. Thank you for making such a giant impact on my life. I can't wait to see what amazing things you will accomplish in the future. I'm thrilled to announce that I will be majoring in education at Salem State University. Yay! Hello, class of 2020 at CRB. Um, I miss all of you and want to congratulate all of you, first and foremost. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a very, very special former student. Um, it, she actually popped up on my old photos, you know how it says like your time hop, when her and Mercedes did twin day today, and I'm gonna be introducing Kiana. Um, she is such a kind, um, respectful, insightful um, young woman. I remember her always trying her hardest and doing her best in our geometry class. Um, she really cares about the people around her and wants to make sure that they are always um, taken care of and always reaching out to them. Um, one thing that I specifically remember about her is that every day before a class, she'd always say, good morning, Miss Grash, how are you? Um, and even on my worst of days, even that little, little piece um, really brightened up my day. Um, she's very hardworking, and I know that's going to carry her throughout life, whatever she decides to do. Um, so, Kiana, I miss you, and congratulations. With further ado, without further ado, Kiana, everyone. I'm going here. Yeah. Yay! Hey, Diana. It has been really great teaching you and getting to know you this year. You have done a great job adapting to a new school your senior year, which is not an easy feat for anyone. Not only have you been a rock star in the classroom, but you have also made connections at Chris Ray, which will last a lifetime. I have seen your friendships grow throughout the year and know how integral a role you play in our community. I'm so glad to have you as part of the Christian Boston community and know you will do fantastic next year. Agnelli, wow, gotta say, a little bit intimidated by this request. I like you, but in four years, we haven't talked much. We haven't hung out. Freshman year, you were quiet. Anytime I tapped your desk, you refocused, got to work. This wasn't easy, given the noise and distractions around you. But you always got your work done. And sometimes, you punched the boys. About that, I'm a little jealous. When I think of you over your time here at CRB, I think about school spirit. You're a cheerleader. You put effort into Spirit Week. You have those bows in your hair. Oh, if I ever wanted bows in my hair, I'm definitely calling you. Because if you did it, I would look awesome. You're creative. You care about how things come out. You care about your performance, and that is a good quality. It will be something that people appreciate about you throughout your life. I know that your family is very important to you. They must be very proud of you right now. Proud like you were the day after you visited your sister at her school. You were smiling from ear to ear. It was adorable. I wish the best for you, of course, but you have so much going for you. I know you're going to be successful. You know what's important, and you're surrounded by people who love you. God bless. 
come back and visit. Hey guys, it's Liberty and Jalise Cousin. She just wanted to let you guys know that she will be attending to Framingham State University. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of justice is laughter. She is almost always laughing about something, which causes you and other people around her to laugh. In fact, she loved making other people laugh in class so much that I had to move her seat out of her row and in the front of the class next to me as I taught. She became my buddy, though, as we could easily talk to each other in the middle of class because she was always so close. Another hilarious moment from freshman year is when her and Adrian performed the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet, where Romeo and Juliet expressed their love for each other the first time. Other than the fact that they both giggled through the entire scene, it was the greatest performance I've ever seen. I appreciate Justice so much for always reminding me that it's important to have fun and not always take things too seriously. I am certainly going to miss the laughter we shared throughout the years, but I'm so proud of everything you have accomplished, and I'm looking forward to hearing about all you accomplish in your future. I wish you the best of luck with everything you do. Chase is someone who is always so kind and thoughtful. Um, he would always make sure to say hello in the hallway or when he came into the classroom, he would always say hello. And he's also somebody who persevered and was dedicated to his work. Um, he always made sure to see me after school and strived to do the best work that he could. Um, he was creative and, and thoughtful in his writing. I always looked forward to reading his essays or his reflections on exit tickets that he would turn in. Um, and Chase, thinking back to teaching you freshman year and then again sophomore year as well, um, you have grown so much and I am so proud of all that you've accomplished in your high school career and I know that you'll continue to be dedicated to all that you do in life. So congratulations Chase and the entire class of 2020. Next year, I will be going to Fisher College to study criminal justice or psychology. I have had the privilege of teaching Emmeline for two of her four years here at CRB, and I'm so grateful for that. She is one of those students who is wise beyond her years and is a natural leader. In her freshman year, I can remember her getting students who I was struggling to reach and motivate to focus and do their work. On top of that, Emmeline sent out an email to all teachers and students this year when the complete shutdown of schools was announced with the goal of spreading positivity and flipping the way we view the tragedy of our seniors missing out on so many life opportunities. I also have a fond memory of watching her become an integral part of the boys' basketball team as a manager. I wouldn't be shocked if Mr. Stewart went to her sometimes for advice on an out-of-bounds play. Starting during her freshman year, she was at every game helping the team in any way she could, which just shows how important the CRB community is to her. She also is one of the most persistent people I've ever met. There is no roadblock that she can't overcome. I have seen her give up so many times that I stopped listening by her senior year about how she couldn't do something because I knew she would overcome whatever struggle it was. And she always did this with a smile on her face. She has such a great sense of humor that always causes me to laugh too, no matter how serious I want it to be. Evelyn, thank you for teaching me a about what leadership looks like, even during the toughest times. I'm so excited for you to experience your future and accomplish great things. Hi, Julian. It has been a pleasure having you as a student this past four years, but most important as my student worker. Thank you for all your hard work in the main office and for allowing me to be your mentor. I will always treasure our conversations and our good laugh. Julian, you are capable of so much, so I can't wait to see what the future is going to bring. Please stay in touch. I will miss you. I'm going to speak briefly about Merceda. And of course, I could speak at great length about Merceda, but to be fair to everybody else, I will try to keep this short. It starts a little weird. Bear with me. So a couple years ago, we were interviewing somebody to work at Crystal Ray. Um, let's just say her name was Sparkles. Um, she 
It was okay. It was fine. But then to get to her letter of recommendation, and the first line of this letter, it says, to whom it may concern, Sparkles works harder than you. Period. I... How do you assume? How do you write that letter? You don't know who I am. I think I work very hard, and I think my colleagues work very hard too. And it's always stuck in my mind as a horrible, horrible line to open anything with, insulting the person who's reading it. And yet, every time I've sat down to write a letter of recommendation or, or tell anybody about Mercedes, that's the line I want to write. To whom it may concern, Mercedes works harder than you. Period. Because she does. She's the hardest working person I've ever encountered. She's going to succeed at anything she does because she's going to outwork everybody else there. And I am just so grateful that I have gotten to learn alongside her in a classroom to have her example of her hard work for her peers. And I am so grateful that I live in a world where there are Mercedes. Hey guys, I miss y'all so much. Like, oh, it's Mercedes. I know I sound like a man. I sound like a 35 year old man, but I don't know what to do. I got choked up by my own spit, so now I just woke up one day and I just started to sound like a man. So, yeah. Anyways, I miss you guys so much. Like, I just wish like this didn't have to happen for, to us. Like, yeah, we get slapped in the face every year, but it's okay. At the end of the day, we worked hard to get here. We worked our ass off. Oops, I'm sorry. Anyways, we worked our butt off to get here, and um, we deserve everything good that comes our way. Everyone deserves good. Nobody deserves anything bad to happen to them. I'm happy for everybody. I'm so happy to see everybody going to their dream college. And I can't wait to see what you guys plan on doing in the future. I know that everyone will make it. Regardless if you're going to a community college or just a university. Whatever it is, you still made it. You worked hard. The way I work hard doesn't mean you work hard the same way I do. Everybody works hard at their own pace. Everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own journey. So I am so happy for everybody. Um, long story short, I plan on going to college, of course. I plan on going to Regis College, which is in Western Massachusetts. And I want to major in nursing. Um, I'm definitely not going to study abroad because I don't think I can afford being away from home for like six months that's mm, 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 that was never gonna be a plan i mean i don't know but i don't think i would consider it my freshman year or my sophomore year probably junior senior year um i definitely want to do service trips that's one thing i definitely want to do i want to get to understand like you know get a broader view of different communities what it means to live in this community like understand different cultures like I want to be able to travel. Do I'm definitely going to do a lot of service trips. Whatever chance I have with service trips, I'm definitely going to do them. And that's it. Yeah, I plan on going to college. Your girl is trying to be a nurse, a nurse practitioner. I don't know what the future holds, but all I know is that right now, this is what I plan on doing. And this is something I feel passionate about. Like, I definitely want to go out to other countries and help other countries get medical resources because I feel like there's other communities other than Boston that lack community, that like medical resources. And I think that me being able to travel to other communities and see what it means to lack, like, lack a lot of stuff, I think that's something I really want to do. But yeah, I, I know it sucks. It sucks for everybody. We're all in this together. It's not like one is affected more than the other. I love you all. I can't wait to see what you guys are planning to do, what you guys are going to do. And I hope we end up having a high school reunion. I don't care. We need a high school reunion, definitely. Because the way we ended, we did not end the way we are supposed to end. So we definitely need a high school reunion. And that's going to happen. Love y'all. This video is for Nihilus Bones. I just wanted to come on and say congratulations um, for graduating and finishing high school and good luck with everything that um, you decide to do next year and the years to follow. I cannot wait to see how far you go and what you decide to do with your future. And I think that you are going to be a major force for good in this world. And I'm really, really excited to see 
what you are able to do. And I hope that you always remember that you are strong and capable and resilient. Um, and I think the last year and the last four years really, really proved that. Um, and I just hope that you never, ever lose that drive and determination. You always remember to strive for the best. And I thank you for allowing me to be um, a part of your junior and senior years of high school. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. So good luck. I will always be a phone call away if you ever need me. Bye. Hi, um, my name is Nylise Bones and this is my senior year video. Um, so to start, I just want to thank all my teachers, everyone who has taught me in the last four years. You guys have personally inspired me to become a teacher myself. I won't be going straight into college. I will be taking a gap year, but when I do go to college, I will be going to UMass Boston and I will be studying early childhood education. I want to be able to make a change in kids' lives the same way that you guys have done for me. I especially want to thank Ms. Polio and Ms. Marchbank and Ms. B. You guys always made sure that I was okay and always pushed me to do better whenever I was slacking and to be a better version of myself. CRB wouldn't be the same without you guys. I just hope everyone stays safe and I can't wait to visit CRB in the near future. Thanks and bye. Christopher, I have a quiz for you. It's a one question quiz and it's multiple choice. The question is this, in which desk am I sitting right now? Is it A, the desk where Christopher sits in my class? Or is it B, the desk where Christopher wears his hoodie? Or is it C, the desk where Christopher wears his beats in my class? Or is it D, the desk where Christopher does this? Did you say all of the above? That's the correct answer. Christopher, I've enjoyed knowing you ever since you first became my student. Your name's Christopher. It's the same as my middle name. It's a great name. In the time that I've known you, I've noticed the little things about you. And I'm not just saying that because you're short. I've noticed, for instance, that there are times when you seem to not be paying attention, and you actually are. For instance, you only have the beats covering one ear. You are listening. And when I ask you what's going on in class, not every time, but often, you know what's going on. That's a good quality. Christopher, I wish every good thing for you in life. And I wish every blessing for you. And I hope that when you come back to visit, You'll stop by and see me. Take care, buddy. Whenever I think of teaching Carolina, I think of her sitting in the back of the class with her feet on the desk in front of her and a face of complete and utter boredom. It took me some time to realize that underneath that bored facade she puts up is a student who is incredibly bright and enjoys learning, like a lot. I taught her before lunch, and she would often stay in my room after class ended to continue discussing whatever we were learning that day. What stood out about Carolina, and still does, is her maturity. I remember checking her birthday on Power School, RIP, to make sure she wasn't a senior who was mistakenly put in a freshman ELA class. Speaking with her often felt like speaking with an adult. Well, until she started complaining about something. Then she was back in teenage mode. But Carolina is singularly driven by her goals in life, and having watched her achieve them all throughout these past four years, I know she will continue that trend in her future. Thank you, Carolina, for always being honest with me and helping me become a more understanding teacher. Good luck with everything in your future.
This year, I'll be attending St. Michael's College and I'll be double majoring in Spanish and biology um, and I'll be on a pre-med track. I keep thinking about next year for Stephanie. I keep thinking about her roommate, whoever that will be. And I keep wondering at what point they're going to discover that they are living with the kindest human being to ever walk the planet. I keep wondering if it's going to be like the first time that Stephanie gives them the last slice of pizza. Or if it's going to be when they realize that Stephanie stayed up all night with them to help them study. Or that they realize that Stephanie uh, gave her meal card away to somebody else who couldn't get anything to eat in the dining hall. I wonder at what point they're going to really come into the realization of what a wonderful person they've been blessed with having in their life. And I hope that they have the same reaction that I did meeting Stephanie, which was, why aren't I kinder? Why don't I give the same effort the same kindness back to other people because I think that is in many ways her most powerful contribution despite the great academics and all of these other things that we usually uh, well that show up more on a report card it, it's not just the individual kindness it's it's the ripple of that kindness and for making me not just a better teacher but a better person I will always be grateful Stephanie I will be attending College of the Holy Cross, planning to major in biology, minor in neuroscience on a pre-med track. Honored, honored to be able to speak about Nayeli Sintron. I came to Chris Array in the middle of the year last year, and it was a little bit intimidating talking to some of our students. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Um, but Nayeli was so nice and so warm and so welcoming. Um, Nayeli has this innocence about her, this interior goodness that is something that just makes you be impressed with her immediately, and she makes you feel at ease. She makes you feel comfortable, and um, that will serve her well. I also stand in awe of the fact that she is so committed and so dedicated to pursuing her education and becoming an engineer. You know, her brother led the way. And she is following in just an incredible way. Uh, when her and I sat down to write her supplemental essays for her engineering school applications, I just was blown away because she knows what she wants. She's an incredibly well-spoken person, and she's going to set this world on fire. So I just want to thank you, Natalie, for letting me be your teacher. It was an honor, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. My name is Nayeli Centron and I will be continuing my academic career at Northeastern University, majoring in chemical engineering. I would like to thank God, the faculty and staff, and Catholic schools for helping me accomplish all my goals and dreams. And most of all, I would like to congratulate all my fellow classmates in accomplishing this. We did this. Congratulations to us. Chloe, freshman year. You sat in the back of the room, same seat as you had this year, quietly doing your work. You've grown so much since that time. For instance, in ninth grade, I would say hi to you and you would growl at me. In 10th grade, now in 10th grade, I don't teach 10th graders because um, God loves me, but I would see you in the hallway or I'd be covering a class and I'd say hi and you'd say something under your breath, really quiet, mumbling, or you wouldn't say anything at all, hoping I would just not notice and ignore you. But instead, I would say your name more loudly, say, Chloe, how are you? Drawing lots of attention to you so that other people around would notice you, which is exactly what you didn't want. Now, if you had a magic wand at that time that could make me disappear, well, I'm sure that I'd be gone. And then now 12th grade. First day of class, same seat as when you were a frosh, which isn't very surprising since I make the seating chart. And there you are in the back. And you're not 100% paying attention to me. You're looking at the books in my classroom and the, on the shelves in the back. 
and during class, you're looking at them, you're pulling some of them off the shelves, you're starting to read them, and after class, you ask if you can borrow them. And that's what they're there for, for students. I think that's great. Now, you and your classmates are going to college next year, but you're doing something else too. You're leaving Boston. I get it. You've had too much Boston. I understand, but that's still sad for me. Boston is a part of you. I know that from our talks about Southie and Dorchester and the history of Boston and busing and your family and all that. But I hope you come back to Boston, at least for visits. When you do, stop by room 104. You can borrow a book. Take care, Chloe. I'll see you around. Hi, guys. So this video is for Arlene. First of all, Arlene, congratulations on surviving four years at Crystal Ray, Boston. These four years have been crazy there's ups and downs and you've you've grown so much over this time and i'm so happy that i got to know you um not only as a student but as a friend i was really proud of how you and the rest of the girls organized all the fundraising last year for the nhs spending countless hours after school with me and Miss Tejeda figuring out a raffle for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm extremely proud of your work in the math class, never settling for okay grades, but making sure that you excelled and your grades represented you to the best of your ability. I know that you will do amazing in whatever you go on to do. Just be proud of yourself, just like I am. And don't ever change. You're an amazing kid. Please keep in touch. I never want to lose touch. I decided to attend Salem State where I will be majoring in biology and hopefully becoming a future vet. Hi Salsa! I'm so glad that I've had the privilege of teaching you and getting to know you throughout the past four years at Crystal Ray. I remember your first day at Crystal Ray and you being in my A Block Physics class. You came in early, around 6.30 a.m. and hung out in the classroom with me till class started. This became a regular thing for us. You always came to school early to do your homework and ask questions. You'd hang out in my room so you would have a quiet place to work. I remember how excited you were to get into the summer program at Harvard at the end of your freshman year. And I saw you grow so much each year at Krista Ray. It has been a pleasure to teach you and get to know you. I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to see what your future holds. When I first met Jessica Tavega, she was really shy and quiet. I couldn't really get a sense of who she was. But I'm so thankful that I got to know her a lot better this year during the college application process. She's one of the most organized, well-prepared, hardworking people I've ever met. Jessica, I'm so happy to have been part of your journey at Crystal Ray Boston. I can't wait to see you thriving at Bentley University and beyond. Please keep in touch. I'm so proud of you and good luck. Chris Diaz is someone who always tries to challenge himself. Um, I remember teaching Chris freshman year and being so impressed with his writing or the perspective that he would share about a book or a play that we would read. And he offered so many insights um, during our seminar discussions and he wasn't afraid to challenge his peers or 
share a perspective that was different than what other people had said. Um, he really cultivated this joy around reading and learning in our classroom and pushed all of us to be the best that we could be. Um, so Chris, I am so proud of you and all that you've accomplished in your four years of high school. Um, it was an absolute privilege to teach you and your class, and I wish you all the best. Congratulations. Darren Dorlins in my Haitian accent. Darren, in the past four years, I've watched you grow into a very mature young man. Thank you for bringing so much joy, love, and laughter. Oh my God, lots of laughter into my life. Good luck out, out there, honey. I will miss you, and I know you won't forget me. Mwah. So for the... Oh God. All right. Um. So for next year, I plan on going to Florida to St. Leo University. As some people already know, I plan on studying pre-med for biomedical and health science because, you know, your boy trying to be a pediatrician. <laughs> but after that, you know, I'm going to four more years to get my master's and then my MD. Yeah, that's a lot of school, I know. But those my plans so far, and you know I hope that God leads me to that way. That well leads me that way, and you know doesn't like do stuff to like you know I don't get sidetracked. But you know it sucks that we have to do with this word, but you know you know we can't do anything about it. Just gotta you know toughen it up. But you know 2020 we got this. Hi, Jessica. Congratulations. Four years done at CRB. It's been eventful. I have to say, I have never had a student make me laugh as much as you have. The funny quotes that you come out with in the middle of class, especially when I'm not in the, not in the best mood, you always cheer me up from we got to know each other in freshman year when I was your proficiency tutor the whole way through pre our junior algebra two last year and pre-calc this year. Um, I always remember the day after school where you and Amari were recording your final review video and I was in stitches laughing the whole time. You keep that sense of humor, Jessica. You will do amazing. You are a really good student. You work hard, keep doing what you're doing. You will do amazing. Keep in touch and let me know how everything goes. So this video is for Francisco. First of all, Francisco, congratulations. You made it, dude. Four years at Crystal Ray Boston. I know you struggled at times and we argued in and out but you've got here. You're done. You're graduating. Congratulations. I am, <laughs> I'm gonna miss you as a student. I am gonna miss the arguments we've had. We've, over these last four years, we've got to know each other so well that you know how to push my buttons, I know how to push yours, <laughs> but at the end of the day, we always got through. You always got the work you needed done. You knew that I was pushing you because I believed in you and I knew that you could do amazing. I know that you will do amazing. Whatever you do next year, wherever you go in the future, you will succeed, Francisco. I am so, so, so proud of you. 
there was times where we we didn't know if you if you would get here. We argued about you getting here, but we're we're here. Congratulations. No more having to come to school, no more having to log into classes. Now it's college. And there's gonna be no Miss Marchbank shouting at you and complaining at you for missing class. You just have to think about me in the back of your head saying, all right, get to class, get to class. Let's do this. Congratulations again, Francisco, you did it. Hello, this summer I'm going to be taking a course to become a CNA. Then I'll be working for the first semester of the school year. Then hopefully I'll be moving up to Vermont to study Allied Health Science at the Community College of Vermont to eventually transfer into nursing school. I'm sure you all know that Ms. Grimaldi raves about all her students because all of you are special. However, I've never heard her speak about a student the way she spoke about Christian. She marveled at how intelligent he was, constantly, and because I'm a skeptic, and Ms. Grimaldi is a human rainbow, I needed to see for myself. I was very excited to be able to teach Christian for the first time this year, and he did not disappoint. Half the time, I wasn't even sure if he was listening to my lessons or even following along with whatever we were reading, but his work, that took him half the time it took everyone else to complete, was always immaculate. He has such a strong analytical mind, which is going to help him so much in college and the future. On top of his extreme intellect, he is one of the kindest and most respectful students I've ever taught. Even when he was in a bad mood, he was respectful about it. I wish all teenagers could take a page out of that book. Thank you, Christian, for always pushing your classmates and your own thinking past the obvious answer. I have zero doubts that you will be successful in your future, and I wish you the best of luck with everything you do. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Vivian Flex Union here. Class of 2024, I will be going to Salem State University to get my master's in business. Stay strong, stay safe, and most of all, stay clean. Okay, that's it. Shaquem Furtado. Who? Shaquem Furtado. Shahu? Is he even back in the country yet? All right, I'll do it, but can we stipulate that he's got to be in dress code when he listens? How's the lighting? Shaquem Furtado, congratulations on your graduation. You deserve all the accolades that come along with, uh, you know, these commencement ceremonies. You've worked hard for four years. You deserve it. Um, take the time to enjoy it uh, because when it's over, it'll be time to turn the, turn the page and uh, you'll be focusing on your collegiate uh, career, uh, which I'm also confident you're going to be have success in. Um, but you worked hard. You deserve it, man. Congratulations. Uh, we're all very happy for you. Live it up. So one of my favorite memories of Adam was during our research paper project uh, junior year. Um, Adam, I loved watching you persevere through that challenging assignment. Um, keeping in touch with me and letting me know how things were going and ultimately writing a really beautiful argument um, about your topic. Um, and I loved watching you grow in your argument skills all throughout last year. I miss you and congratulations on your accomplishment of graduation. This video is for Kanaya. I just wanted to come on here and say congratulations on graduating high school um, and accomplishing all that you've wanted to in the last four years. I am so excited to see what the future holds for you. And I have no doubt that you are gonna be able to do whatever it is that you wanna do and be whoever it is that you wanna be. And I cannot wait to see how much you're able to succeed. I hope that you never lose that really, really silly, goofy side of you, um, even though you definitely can be serious at times and you can have the heavy talks and um, muddle through all the tough stuff. So I hope that you never lose that because it's a really, really cool balance that you have. And I think it's going to take you really, really far in life. And I just hope you never forget how strong you are um, and how capable you are. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Please let me know 
um, where you end up and what you end up doing. And if you ever need anything, I'll always be here for you. Best of luck. This video is for Alex Garcia. I just want to wish you so much luck um, next year and all the years to come. And I just want to thank you for being my social work prodigy the last two years um, and always keeping me entertained, always having really cool intellectual and insightful um, conversations just about the world and life and social work. And I just so much appreciate how insightful and wise beyond your years you are. And I hope that you take that with you and you never lose that light that you have. And I wish you all the best. Um, I will miss you even when you're a little bit annoying and you won't leave my office and you just want some attention, but know that I will always be here for you um, and will always be a phone call away and good luck. Before I announce where I'm going and what I'll be majoring in, I first wanna say thank you to all the CRB teachers, faculty and staff for everything you guys done for me over the last four years. Um, you guys definitely showed me a lot. You guys taught me a lot. You guys definitely helped me mature a lot. And I just wanted to say thank you and I appreciate you guys for that because without you guys, I wouldn't be the person I am today and I'm proud of who I am and who I'm becoming. So with that being said and done, I'm happy to announce that I'll be attending UMass Boston. So CRB, you know I'm not going too far. I'm only a stop away. Y'all can't y'all can't get rid of me. Come on now. Um, I'll also be majoring in Masters of Social Work. So Ms. B, you know I'm coming for your job. I'm only joking. I can't I can't stand CRB. I'm joking about that too. But uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for everything you guys done for me. I have so much respect for Jose for so many different reasons. Unfortunately for me, I only was able to teach Jose during his freshman year, although I'm glad that was the year I had him. He is the perfect student for a teacher to have during their first year of teaching. He is such a good-natured person, and I swear to you that I've never seen him in a bad mood. That is unprecedented in the history of teenagers. And even though freshman English was a struggle at times for Jose, he never came close to giving up. He consistently worked as hard as he could in order to improve, and that is a far bigger indicator of future success than how well you can write a thesis statement. Jose was also part of the greatest advisory to ever exist. Shout out Room 10 slash 111 advisory. In our advisories, we often discuss current events, and as most of us know, Jose's political opinions vary from the majority of students at CRB. But despite the fact that he was greatly outnumbered in any discussion, he never feared to share his position. And while some students became frustrated with his point of view, Jose never said anything mean or hurtful to other students who disagreed with him. He is the perfect model of what political discourse should look like in this country. I appreciate Jose for pushing my ideas and the ideas of our students, and I know we all grew from those advisory discussions. Jose, I know school may not have been your favorite place all the time, but I want to thank you for making it one of mine. Your constant positivity and ability to make people smile always caused me to leave an encounter with you in a better mood. Good luck with all your future endeavors. Oh, and thank your mom for everything she's done for you, because she's awesome, and you better know that. This is for my buddy, Gian, a.k.a. Gino Gonzalez. Um, when I think of Gian, I always think of the first year that I taught him when he was a freshman. And um, he, I have to admit, he was one of my favorites, and still is, because I just love your personality, Gian. I, I love how genuine and silly you are and how you can get along with anyone that's around you. Um, you're, you're so creative and so smart and have so much to offer and um, I just want you to know that I miss you. I miss blaming you for every mischievous event that happens in the art room because I assume that it's you, but I love that about you. I love that you have such a young, playful soul and heart, and I don't want you to ever lose that as you get older. And I love how generous you are when you helped Miss Austin and I out bringing in that speaker 
for the the paint night and how you were so patient with me and you're always so patient <clears throat> with me about helping me with technical IT difficulties. So um, I just want you to know how proud I am of you and how much I miss you and how I never want you to forget about me and to always come back and visit me. Good luck. I'm so proud of you. I have committed to St. Thomas University in Florida to study early education. Okay, uh, this is for Kayla Green. I'm going to read for you the letter that Ms. Cuomo wrote. Um, she really would have loved to be able to record it herself, and obviously if we were all together, we would have helped her do it, but it just uh, was not going to happen. So I am subbing in as best I can. Dear Kayla, you have been among the most interesting and most lovable of my students at Cristo Rey. Your courage, your independence, your integrity are remarkable. Wherever you go to college, you must keep the faith and the certainty that you are strong and brave and deeply, deeply loved. I will always be here for you. Signed, June Cuomo. Well, Chris Starter, you did it. Congratulations. Four years done at Chris Ray Boston and you're graduating. I am so proud of the man that you've turned into. You have grown so much over these last four years and I am privileged to have been a mentor and to have been part of the support system that you needed throughout your high school career. There's been laughing, there's been crying, we've, we've been through it all, but I just want to say congratulations. You got there in the end and no matter what, you will do amazing. Please keep in touch. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a nice four next four years. Hopefully, you won't have any more online learning to do. But congratulations, and do me proud. Bye bye. Out of all the students I taught, both freshman year and senior year, Kiara probably showed the most growth in almost every way imaginable. She transformed from a good student into a great student. She was one of the best writers in my senior class, which definitely shows huge growth. She also has shown growth in the way she thinks about what she reads and her intellectual curiosity in general. Kiara was one of many freshmen who hated Romeo and Juliet, but by senior year, she was analyzing Othello like a graduate student. However, despite all of her growth and academic accomplishments, what I have been impressed with the most about Kiara since day one is her fearlessness. Kiara is never afraid to express her opinions, no matter who it is to. Most freshmen are afraid of their own shadow, but Kiara sure was not. She consistently gave me helpful feedback for improving my class, and because she was unafraid to tell it like it is, future students who had me after her benefited. It's this fearlessness that leaves me expecting her to become President of the United States or a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. If Kiara wants either of those things, she will achieve them. Kiara, thank you for teaching me the importance of fighting for what you believe in. All I have to say is, to all the obstacles that lay in the way of your future success, you better watch out. This video is for my BFF, Anne Hector. Anne, um, I miss you like crazy. I, I miss having you at school. It was like having um, family at school. I miss seeing you pop into my room and give me a giant hug. Um, I miss your advice that you would give me about teaching, even if sometimes I didn't want it. I miss giving you advice, even if sometimes you didn't want it. And I just want you to know that when I think of you, some words come to mind. Um, warm, honest, loyal, smart. And I know that you are going to go far because you have such a good head on your shoulders and um, you're not afraid to be an advocate for yourself. And that that's so important. 
I love you. I miss you. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. This video is for Alyssa Hoducek and with this being my first year, I was nervous coming in, but Alyssa is someone who kind of immediately made me feel welcomed um, to be in the CRB community. Um, every time I see Alyssa, she always is someone who kind of says hello and welcomes you. Um, she either always had a smile on her face or was pouting, which seems like typical Alyssa, but she was always someone who kind of checked in with me and someone I, that I was always excited to see while I was walking through the hallways of the school. Um, she's someone who's really involved in the CRB community and does her best at making sure that other people feel welcome. Um, and I'm sad that we didn't get to spend the rest of the year together and kind of see um, how all of her hard work paid off, but I'm excited to see how the future goes and how she's able to succeed in college. I've decided I will be attending Salem State, major in biology on a pre-med track, and hopefully becoming a pediatrician. Well, Shana, that's it. Four years of Crystal Ray is over. Congratulations, you have done amazing. Well done. Best of luck for whatever comes your way next year. I know that you will work hard. I believe in you. I know you will succeed in whatever you decide to do. Congratulations. I'm so mad that we didn't get to spend more time together this year. I know that you were one of my students that I didn't get to teach for three years, only this year. And then with COVID-19, we were just robbed of getting to know each other even more. Well done and best of luck. Hi, Andrew, it's Mr. Kim. Um, Congratulations on graduating from Crystal Ray Boston High School, despite all the challenges and struggles. Um, I've taught you in foundations, computer science, chemistry, and many courses, and I've seen you grow so much. Um, you're still weird though. You were very weird when I first met you. You're still very strange now, but a different kind of way. And you will, trust me, you will fit right in when you go to college because college is full of weird, strange, different, special people. I'm not using special in a negative way. It's actually a good thing to be special. Um, once again, that's it. I guess that's it from me. Congratulations. And I wish you the best of luck in your next endeavor. Bye. Hey Maria, it has been a pleasure getting to know you these past four years. You are quiet and thoughtful. The words you say have power and meaning. You've been a great friend to many and have shown how strong you are. You've always been there for your friends to support them however you can when they are in need. It was great seeing your achievements in academics, but also your personal growth throughout your time at Crystal Ray. I know you will do great wherever you go. I'm so proud of you, and I cannot wait to hear about your adventures next year. Hello, Arizandi. I want to wish you and the entire class of 2020 at Crystal Ray a very big congratulations. Put on my shirt, tie, dress, uh, sport blazer for you, because um, this is a big, big occasion and wanted you to know uh, how proud we all are of your accomplishment. And there's that saying in life, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And wow, did you finish uh, in a way that uh, makes us all proud. Really are so happy um, for you and you're gonna have a great things coming your way because you are so bright. Um, and can't wait to see what those things are. Good luck and congratulations. This video is for Vanessa. Congratulations, darling, you got there. You have worked so hard over these past four years. I still remember the first day of freshman year where you 
were sitting up the front in room 207 and I remember how hard you worked for those first couple of months that I was teaching you and you have worked so hard over the years working all over the summer on in Cambridge summer schools to bypass algebra 2 to get into be able to do AP Calc in senior year and you strived in AP Calc you worked so hard, you never gave up. You, even though you could find the answers on the internet, you always wanted to understand. You worked amazingly. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your life in Crystal Ray Boston. And best of luck for everything that you do in the future. I know that you will do everybody proud, especially yourself. Congratulations, Vanessa, and keep in touch. Yay! Lamont is someone that brought so much joy to our class. Um, every day that he would come in, he would always ask, how's your day going? And he really brightened everyone's day. Um, he was I always either smiling or laughing, and um, he was also a hard worker and wanted to always do his best work or improve upon something that he had already turned in. So um, he would frequently visit after school or question a text that we were reading, always trying to learn more or be the best that he could be. Um, Lamont, I'm so proud of how much you have grown since your freshman year. And I know that you'll take all that you have learned with you throughout everything you do in life. Um, keep smiling, keep laughing. Congratulations to you and the entire class of 2020. Yay! All right, so this video is for Ariel Lara Quinta. Um, some things that come to mind when I talk, think about Ariel: uh, loyalty, integrity, hard work, um, brotherhood. Uh, these are all qualities that he embodied, you know, right out of the gate as a freshman, um, and you know. As an athlete, you know, he was, you know, came in bigger than sophomores and big as some juniors. Uh, he was a member of the freshman class that was the first that I've ever heard of to win basketball during Spirit Week, which was a really cool and fun day. Um, I can think about over the years where he played various, you know, sports only during Spirit Week. Um, flag football comes to mind. He played quarterback and was just able to move around in the pocket throw dimes downfield and you know people are watching on the sidelines like I thought he was a basketball player like yeah, he knows how to play football like this is crazy um he also junior year came out and played soccer um and you know didn't miss a beat it was a sport that he loved stopped playing once he got to high school because he only concentrated on basketball um but those guys they really appreciated him being a part of the team I know coach U Phelps did you know um when I think about him as a student, uh, you know, you think about how he would always ask great questions. Uh, he was a deep thinker, great critical thinker. Um, if it was a topic that he really cared about and was passionate about, you know, he would ask questions and seek information. And we would have talks and debates, whether it was basketball, um, you know, stuff that he picked up in philosophy class or, you know, sometimes history and, you know, he would ask questions and I know that college is going to be a, a great next step for him because he'll be able to ask even more questions and learn about topics that I'm sure will catch his interest. Um, Ariel, we've had many memories over the past, you know, four years uh, that, you know, I've gotten to know you and it's been a pleasure. Um, and yeah, um, can't wait to see what, you know, college, you know, produces at the end and, uh, Hope we stay in touch. I know we will. Peace. Okay, so this video is for Yaddy. Yaddy, uh, when I think of you, I can't help but remember all of the times you would just come and sit in my classroom and just give me the rundown on your life and um, just how you just completely opened up to me um, and how we were able to form a really great relationship because of that. And although I haven't been there this past year at CRB to continue our relationship up close, 
um, you've done an amazing job at keeping in contact with me. I feel like we haven't been that far away from each other because you've been so great at just communicating to me and just telling me what's going on in your life. Um, so as, because of that, I'm not too worried about how in contact we'll be when you're off in college doing your thing. But I just wanted to say that I am so proud of everything you've accomplished. I'm so proud of the person that you are. I'm so happy to know you. I'm so happy to have taught you. I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for having you in my life. I'm really sad that I'm not going to be able to see you cross the stage next month. But I hope that you know how much I love you and how proud I am of you and how you won't have to be alone for the rest of your life, basically. I mean, like in college, you'll still have me, especially because we've been able to keep in contact all this time. That helps me feel a little bit more comfort, even though I won't be able to see you cross the stage soon. Hopefully. I'll see it eventually or we'll be able to honor you some way, but I'm so happy to know you. Um, so proud of you. So, so, so proud of you. And I can't wait to see the great things you're going to accomplish in college. Hey guys, I hope that all you guys have been doing well. I'm happy to announce that I will be attending UMass Lowell next fall to study public health science and biomed to later on be a cardiologist pediatrician. I hope that all of you guys have a great college experience and have a lot of fun. I know that this is not the way that we wanted to graduate, but I am very proud of how far we have came and I am glad that we all made it. Jolene Levanta. For who? Do I have to do one for Mercedes and Darren too? Thank God. Can I get a mom in here to scream at her in Creole? How's the lighting? Hey, when do you guys make me an appointment at JoJo's Eyelash Emporium? Jolene, congratulations on your graduation. Um, I'm very proud of you. I know your family is very proud of you. Uh, you're someone who's worked very hard in the classroom and um, you know can sign her name to, to all of her efforts and her um, uh, accomplishments, and you should be very proud about that. Um, you're someone who this isn't the end for. Clearly, you've got so many more things ahead of you to accomplish, uh, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. You're someone who's very ambitious, and I look forward to seeing you uh, do great things as a as a, a business entrepreneur. Um, but good luck, and feel free to you know reach out to me for any questions, comments, concerns I can be helpful with in the future. Um, uh, but the world is your oyster. Have at it. I got to teach Tracy for sophomore year and his junior year um, in English. And my favorite thing about Tracy is that he never gives up. No matter what challenge he's facing, no matter what thing is difficult, Tracy will persevere till the end and watching you play basketball is the same thing. You're there for your team. You fight for that win um, and it's been an honor to be your teacher. Congratulations and uh, I know that great things are in store for you. Agent Asa, this is Mr. Smith. I feel so thankful that you picked me to send you your graduation greetings. You always made me smile. Every time you came in my classroom, you had a smile on your face, headphones in your ears, and a dance step in your gait. So going forward, that's a great philosophy of life. You're going to go very far and be very successful. Always keep a smile on your face, music in your heart, and a dance in your step. So for that, I thank you. I wish you all the best. Please tell me what you're up to. Keep in touch. And again, thank you for this teacher being accepted into a school, walking into a classroom full of strange senior faces, all a little confused and upset, and you made my transition a lot easier. For that, I have a lot of respect for you, and I wish you nothing but the best in your graduation.
This video is for Ashley. Ashley, when I think of you, I think of just how bright of a light you were in my classroom. Um, in AP Spanish, but also every other time that you were there without there being class. Um, just, I really appreciated how, I really appreciate, not appreciated, I really appreciate how you just um, would come and sit with me while we both did work. Um, I really started to miss you on the days that you weren't able to come by. I don't know if I ever told you that, but um, I really just started to rely on just having you there so we could just do stuff together. Um, even though we weren't talking or anything, I just enjoyed having your company. Um, and I know that like the dynamic of our relationship is a little different now that I'm not there anymore. But um, I'm really sad that I won't be able to see you conclude your time at Crystal Ray with a proper ceremony. Um, hopefully we can do something at some point to celebrate you and the rest of your classmates. But um, I just wanted to say that I'm just so thankful for you. I'm thankful to have known you. I'm thankful to have taught you. I'm thankful to be in your life. I'm so proud of the person that you are. I'm already proud of who you're going to become because I know you're going to be amazing. And um, I wish you the absolute best of luck wherever you end up. I know they're going to be extremely lucky to have you. And just thank you. This video is for Samia. Congratulations, Samia, you got here. Um, one of my biggest regrets is not getting to know you before this year. I met you at the beginning of this year in AP Calc and I just feel robbed of our time together and our ability to build an even more meaningful relationship. I am so proud of everything you've done this year. You have worked so hard. You have persevered through AP Calculus and you got here. I know that there was some hard days, but you never let it get you down. You always worked hard. You always knew that you could do better and you tried your best. And that's all I could have ever asked for. Congratulations, Samia. Well done. Good luck in the future. And please keep in touch. I'm so proud of everybody. Hi Jennifer, um, it's Mr. Kim. Um, just wanted to say hi and say bye. Um, congratulations on your graduation from Crystal Ray Boston High School and moving to your next stage of your life. Um, I've taught you in chemistry class and in computer science class. You've grown so much. I'm very happy for you. Um, I really thought you were like really weird um, when you dance in computer science class, practicing for your cheerleading team. Um, but you're still cool and I have faith in you. You always work hard. You always try to keep up your grades and do what you're supposed to do. So I have no doubt that you're going to do awesome things in college. Good luck and connect me via LinkedIn. We'll keep in touch. That's it. Bye. There are very few people that I would put a collared shirt on for during this quarantine. And one of them is John Carlos. I am honored, and I mean honored, by the fact that he has asked me to introduce him for his graduation video. John Carlos is a man who makes me so proud to have been his teacher. When I think of John Carlos, I think of one word, and that word is integrity. How someone can be so kind, so funny, so thoughtful, and have zero enemies is beyond me. I stand in awe of the young man that John Carlos is. But more than that, John Carlos is a man of integrity because no matter the challenges thrown at him, no matter the ups and the downs, that young man has shown up and he's shown up in a big way. I'm incredibly proud of him and cannot wait to see all the successes that lie out of him. Congratulations, Charles. Hi, Barima. Congratulations, man. You made it. 
AP Calc was hard. AP Calc was hard for me reading your writing and trying to figure out what you were going to say, what you were trying to say, answering those FRQs, having arguments with you over lost marks because I couldn't understand your writing. I am so proud of you, how you've grown this past year. I know that it was hard for you to have to write down all your thoughts in math class because you weren't used to doing that. You were able to do so much in your head, but having to explain it to get the points for the FRQs was difficult. And I'm glad that you got there. I'm so proud of everything you've done, how hard you've worked this year, and it's paid off. Your grade looks amazing for math. You've spent four years at Crystal Ray Boston and you're graduating. Congratulations. I remember talking with Miss Serby about you as a student and we both laughed so much over the year about different things and different arguments that me and you had in class and I would tell her about it. And for her, she knew that you never changed since she taught you. I never want you to change, Barima. Keep that personality throughout your four years in college and beyond. You will do amazing. Keep that motivation. Keep working hard. Keep showing your work. Tidy up that handwriting. You will do absolutely amazing. I know these last four years have been difficult. There's been so many changes, but that's made you a better person. You will be a better person after Crystal Ray than if you were in another school. Congratulations, ma'am. I'm proud of you. What does it mean to be a good man? It means you take care of your family. It means you take care of your friends. It means that you take care of those who need to be taken care of. And Audrey Piguero does all those things. He is kind, he is smart, he is funny, and he knows when to be kind. He knows when to be strong. He knows when to show strength. He just is a remarkably mature individual, and I was just honored to be his teacher. Beyond that, he has an incredible capacity for truth finding. He has an incredible capacity to learn academically and to notice patterns and thought. And I just really, really, really was always impressed with him as a student. And uh, I wish him the best of luck going forward. Adriel, I know you're going to have amazing successes. And I'm so proud to see the man that you've become. And uh, best of luck in the future. My first memory of Laura Lees is from her freshman year when Mr. Lopez used to rave about how special she was as a student. How she was always the first to ask the deeper questions, to push past surface level ideas. I had no idea what she even looked like, because I didn't teach her. So after Mr. Lopez introduced me to her, I enjoyed saying hello and speaking in the hallways. Even from our conversations in passing, I knew I wanted her in my class when she was a senior. So, when she told me she was moving in her junior year to Atlanta, I was so sad. Fast forward to the start of this past August, before school starts, and I'm walking to my room. And who do I see sitting on the bench outside of the main office? Laura Lees. After doing a triple take, she told me she was back, and I was so excited. I was praying she would be in my class, so when I received my roster, I was ecstatic to see her name on it. And Laura Lees has lived up to the hype this year in every way. She has an intellectual curiosity that pushes her interest into whatever we are studying. She has an extreme hunger for learning, and this is going to help her in whatever she does. School may end someday, but learning never does, and the fact that she is always curious about why and how things are the way they are will push her to always improve. Laura Lees, thank you for reinforcing the need to always quench your intellectual curiosity and not just settle for the simple explanations. CRB is so lucky you came back to us and to have you as part of the graduating class of 2020. I am so proud of you for everything you have overcome in the past four years, and sincerely know there is no way I could have overcome what you have. Good luck with everything in your future, and never stop asking questions.
It's impossible to put into words how much Daviana means to me, so I'm just not going to say anything at all and leave it at that. I'm just kidding. She probably doesn't remember this, but one day in September of her freshman year, in my first year teaching at CRB, only weeks after I started, I was licking my wounds at the end of a class after her class had emotionally scarred me. I'm being dramatic, of course. Well, kind of. All of a sudden, this tiny girl with a high-pitched voice came up to me and told me she really enjoyed the article that we read in class. She smiled and then walked away. It was the first moment at CRB where I felt like I might not be a terrible teacher after all. She somehow sensed how much I was struggling and decided to try to make me feel better. And that became a routine throughout that year. And that's who Davi is. I'm not special. She has picked up countless staff and students up when they are down. I have never met a more compassionate person in my life. She has taught me so much about what it means to be there for other people. I can honestly say that I don't know if I would have made it through my first year and still be working here today if it weren't for Daviana. Davi, thank you for entering my life and brightening my world. I am so proud of all your accomplishments, and I can't wait to hear how easy college is. Congratulations. I'll be attending Framingham State University in the fall, and I will be majoring in accounting. This video is for Daviana Yanelis Pimentel. Davi, congratulations. I'm extremely excited for you. First thing is first though, I think you should talk to your parents about potentially adding Aventura or Santos to your name somewhere. For those who don't know, that's just a Spanish group that Daviana loves, and I'm not going to lie, me too. With that being said, Davi, I'm going to miss the laughs. You're funny. Um, you're a very special person. A very special person. And um, one last thing before I let you go, I'm going to bounce back from English and in Spanish. I know you got some big goals and some big plans, so stay focused. Your parents too, están haciendo un gran sacrificio por ti, y tu padre no tan fácil. So stay focused, believe in yourself. You are very smart. I'm gonna miss you, Davi. Take care. Hey guys, I'm going to be attending the University of Hartford this fall and I wish y'all all the best of luck. Congratulations, Nicole, on your graduation. You've done it. You got through four years of CRB. I will never forget our first year, our freshman class. You worked so hard. You always done so well through freshman year, sophomore year, and then with me again in junior and senior year. Congratulations, Nicole, you worked so hard. You deserve this. You've had a few bumps in the road this year, but it never stopped you. You always got up and went again and struggled through to get your grade to where it needs to be. All those struggling will help you in the future and I know that I am going to be so proud to hear of your adventures after Crystal Ray Boston. Thank you for allowing me to be your mentor and your friend. And thank you for always having my back. Congratulations again. I'm going to be attending the College of the Holy Cross next year with a major in psychology and a minor in education. Hi Cruz, it's Mr. Kim. Um, congratulations on graduating from Crystal Ray Boston High School. Um, whenever I think about you, I think about you and the foundation class that I taught four years ago. You were this tiny little thing that's really shy and you didn't know what to do when I asked you a question in class. But by the time you were a senior, you've turned, you've changed completely 180 degrees and now you voice your opinion out letting other people know what you think and and it's just mind-blowing for me to see how much you have grown since freshman year um, 
And I am very hopeful that you will learn as much, if not more, in college and get excited for that. Um, stay, let's stay connected. And of course, whenever you go out anywhere, try not to go out, but whenever you go out anywhere, wear a face mask. That's going to protect you. Bye. Jaden, what's up, kid? Hey, um, you know, I, I first of all, I want to apologize for my voice and sorry for the shaky phone. I'm out of my back patio right now. Um, hey, I gotta tell you, Jay, um, you are a class act, kid. You are one of you, you are one, literally one of my faves. Um, with you know, you you guys know how I, I have juniors and seniors, and um, I only had had a few of you guys for seniors. We only had a class of seven, and I must say, Jay, you. Um, you really helped carry us this year. You did a lot, and um, you're going to do amazing things, man, in the future. I can't, I can't wait to see where you are four years from now, five years from now, six years from now, you know. Um, you're such a good kid. You have a heart of gold. Um, I absolutely loved teaching you. I loved um, all of your – I loved your participation. I loved your insight into, like, our Supreme Court cases, um, feelings on, you know, when we talked about civil rights, um, and then everything we've talked about um, – you know, discussing modern day law and just, you know, things like uh, injustices in society um, and inequalities. And that's kind of a lot of what, like what we focused on in, in our course. And I got to say, Jay, I hats off to you. You did such an amazing job and you helped ca you, you and a couple of others helped carry our class as far as like discussion, um, assignments go. You helped set the tone. You were a good role model to your peers. Um, you're an overall great person, man. I, I just, I hope nothing but the best for you. And I really, really, really am begging you to come visit me at some point, okay? Um, I will I will be there next year. And I want you to come knock on my door and say, hi, Mr. Hessian, okay? As long as we're not socially that distant at this at that point. Um, but Jay, good luck, my man. Um, you, you have nothing but an amazingly bright future ahead of you. And if you ever, ever need anything, all right? Don't ever hesitate to email me, please. Email me anytime. I don't care if it's a question about an assignment and you need some help. All right, buddy? That's why I'm here. All right? Peace, love, and we'll see each other again. All right, kid? Hey, Christian. So I just made your first video and it was five minutes. I have to shorten this one. All right, man? I'm going to try and make it short and sweet. I want to let you know that I'm very proud of you. Okay? Uh, we got to know each other quite well over the past couple weeks, um, and we knew each other quite well before that anyways. You and I would have regular discussions. Anytime you walk by my room, you'd stop in, say what's up, and uh, we, have very, we have a very, very similar humor. <laughs> and I think you, uh, we both have, be we both have uh, become understand understanding of that over the past couple of months. Um, you're a great kid. You you have so many great goals and so many amazing ideas, and you brought such a great dynamic to the classroom, Christian. I don't care about um, quarter three and quarter two or whatever at this point. You know, like you were you were in class. Um, we had great discussions, all related to landmark Supreme Court civil rights cases, and you added a dynamic that was uh, that others couldn't. Okay, you have a gift. You add insight. You're very likable. You are very charismatic, Christian. You are going places. You have goals, and I want you to hit those goals, okay? Um, everything that we've been discussing over the past two months, I want you to think about that stuff over the summer, all right? Now, I'm not saying go right to work and go, go start hammering away and trying to think and telling yourself, I have to get all this accomplished now. You're young, you're a kid. You have a whole life ahead of you, all right? You have goals. Hit those goals. Hit anyone you want and ignore anyone you want. You don't have to go through those goals. And you know what? Those goals are going to change. But just remember that you're fully capable of hitting any goal that you want. All right? I know you, Christian. You're a driven kid. And I know we'll talk again. This isn't the last time that you're going to see my face. All right? I wish you the best of luck, my friend. And you know how I feel about you. All right, kid? Good luck. I 
have a confession to make. When I first met Jasmine, I seriously questioned if she was some kind of actress or something. Because no human is that nice and positive and cheery all the time. Like, that's not possible. But day after day, she came into class with a smile on her face and something positive to say that brightened my day completely. I don't know how you are this way, but I do know that if we had more Jasmine Rodriguez's in the world, it would be a much better place. I am so lucky I was able to have this infusion of sunshine in my classroom for two years. You are one of the few students that everybody is happy to work with, and in a tiny high school filled with teenagers hungrily hunting for drama, that's almost impossible to achieve. This is a trait that is going to make you so successful in life, because everyone wants to work with someone who makes them feel good. I know high school hasn't always been the easiest for you, but I want to thank you for making it so much more positive for all of us who have interacted with you throughout the past four years. We have all benefited from your presence, and I'm pretty jealous of all the people who will be around you for the next four years. Good luck with all your future endeavors, and please don't ever change. Hi guys, I'm going to be announcing the school I'm going to. I'm going to be attending the University of New Hampshire, UNH, Go Wildcats. And after that, I'm going to be going to medical school and starting a career in medicine. Those are my future plans. I'm excited. Good luck, everyone. Bye. Yay! It was a privilege and an honor to be Jasmine Z. Rodriguez's teacher. She has this interior detector for social justice. She understands when something's fair. She understands when something's not fair. She really, truly understands the human person at a level that is far beyond your average or even your elite junior in high school. She was incredible, and it was a fun time teaching her. Along with that, she's kind. She's compassionate. She cares about others. She is somebody who is a loyal friend and uh, speaks her truth, and, and I just loved being her teacher. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for her. She is somebody that I know will thrive in whatever area she finds herself in, and I look forward to tracking you know, her progress as she moves forward, but Gradually, uh, congratulations on graduating. Uh, we, your teachers, are so proud of you, Jasmine, and we hope you the best, best successes in college. My favorite memory of Lewis is something I will never forget. When him, Ariel, and Cristardi embarrassed the entire school as freshmen during the Spirit Week basketball game. It was unthinkable then, and still unthinkable now. If the current freshmen played the current seniors in basketball right now, they might not score a basket in a game to 21. I remember all freshman year, I had to listen to this puny kid yap with his high-pitched voice about how he has curry range and how nice he was at basketball. Like I always do when I hear that from a student, I rolled my eyes. And then he sunk a three from like half court in that Spirit Week game, and it was like, okay, he's the one student who's actually as good at basketball as he thinks he is. But what makes Lewis special as a basketball player, and in turn as a person, is that he couldn't care less about how many points he scores. He cares about the little things necessary to succeed, like making the perfect pass to make his teammates look good, or playing help defense and stealing the ball from the other team. He recognizes that winners rely on their intellect far more than their athleticism or skills, and that's what set him apart on the court, and his curry range. But Lewis brings this mindset to everything he does. He's one of the few athletes I've seen at CRB who recognize that his education is as important, if not more, than sports. And he didn't just say things like that. He proved it with the fact that he rarely was absent and always gave his all in the classroom. He also displays a level of kindness to new teachers and younger students that is unprecedented in upperclassmen. He is an amazing role model for his peers, and I'm excited for him to continue to live up to that in the future. Lewis, thank you for always putting a smile on my face and giving me so much to cheer about on and off the court. I'm so proud of you and can't wait to see what's ahead in your future. Hi, Melanie. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your life this past four years. 
for the amazing work you did in the main office, but most importantly, for standing up for me your sophomore year. I will never forget that day. Melanie, in my eyes, you are a warrior. Nothing will stop you. Keep it up. I'll miss you. So my plans for the future is to attend Pine Manor College and major in sociology and political science and end off with a bachelor's degree. This video is for Brianna. Brianna, congratulations. Four years of Crystal Ray Boston done. You're graduating, you got here. I will always remember at the beginning of last year, you were so quiet in class, but you have amazing relationships with your friends. You always worked hard in class. You mightn't have been the most vocal person ever, but when you got a nod yet or when you needed to improve your grade, you were right here with me. You were here after school. You were doing what you needed to do. Congratulations. I am so proud of you, how you've grown over these last two years. I am just mad I didn't get to teach you in freshman year as well. You will do amazing, Brianna. Congratulations. I want to keep in touch. I want to hear how things are going. I want to hear all the questions that you have from math classes. <laughs> I want to keep in touch. Congratulations, Brianna. You did this. You're graduating. Congratulations, Livia. You done it, class of 2020. Four years of CRB done, four years of hard work on your part. You have done extremely well. I'm so privileged to get to know you over these past two years. I will never forget the days after school we spent last year organizing the NHS raffle for the Valentine's Day you guys were absolutely amazing. You're such hard workers. Livia, you were never happy with your grade. You always tried to do better and those qualities will help you succeed in life. You will do amazing, congratulations. You cheered me up so much at the beginning of this COVID-19 online teaching when you sent me just a small thank you message and I'll always treasure all the relationships that I have with you guys. Congratulations and thank you very much. I'm going to be attending UMass Boston and my major is going to be biology. Amari? I have seen you grow day by day. I hope all the conversations we had have helped in some small way. Thank you for putting your trust in me. I'm excited for your future and I know you will succeed in anything you put your mind to. Congratulations and don't forget, I'm a phone call away. So, Kaiasia, you know, one of the things we talked about in English this year, but we've talked about it all the time, is that is that audience is important. You always have to be thinking about your audience. And one of the things I've learned from professional writers is that sometimes you even have to imagine who your audience might be if you don't have an actual audience in front of you. And I discovered four years ago that the audience I was always imagining for my classrooms was Kaiasia. And... Since then, I've always thought about how is Kaiasia going to react to this text, this reading, this question. Now, mainly that's because she's brilliant and these professors are very lucky and don't quite know what they're going to get yet, but they'll be so grateful to have her in class. But the most important reaction to watch for in Kaiasia 
is probably the most devastating eye roll in history. <laughs> That's how I would know how to gauge the class going forward. How big of an eye roll did Kaeja just give to that absurd comment one of her peers made? How big of an eye roll did she just give to that comment I made? That's the way you know if your class is going well or not. All right, hi guys, my name is Kaeja. For those of you who don't know me, and my future plans involve going to Bridgewater to study nursing. I plan to be a pediatric doctor and that's my future plans. I hope whatever you guys do is successful and I hope you remember to pray and keep God through it all. And that's my plans. I hope all of y'all are successful with whatever it is you choose to do. Yep, thank you guys, bye. Well, this is going to be a tough one, but this video is from Nicole Soto Guerrero, de lo mio personal. You know, I have so many funny stories and encounters with Nicole, and there's just not enough time, so we're going to skip over that. But what I do want to say about Nicole, as you all already know, she is very smart. She's self-motivated, always goes above and beyond in anything and in everything that she does. And I feel like every time I saw her in the hallway, she was always smiling and laughing, and half the time, I don't even know why, but it just always made me smile and laugh, so... You know, I love that about her. With that being said, Nicole, congratulations. I know you're gonna do some great things in this next chapter in your life. And you know, before I let you go, I wanna tell you one more thing in Spanish. And that is that tu padre han hecho bastante sacrificio por ti. So a ti no que decirte mucho. Y a tu sabes lo que tu tienes que hacer. And um, tu no tienes limite. So mete mano. And you know, continue to make your parents proud. I'm gonna miss you. Be well. I'm so happy to announce that I will be attending College of Holy Cross and majoring in biology. <laughs> Leah, it has been an honor to watch you learn and grow this past four years. I am very proud of the young woman that you are today. I wish you the best on the road ahead. I'll miss you. Please keep in touch. Take care. I've committed to Curry College and I'm majoring in forensic sciences and psychology. So. Hey Esteban. You've worked so hard your past four years at Crystal Ray, and I'm so excited to hear about your adventures next year. I remember working with you every year at Crystal Ray, and I was really surprised when you signed up for AP Research for your junior year, since I always thought of you as a really quiet student. You did a great job on all of your speeches, even if it took 10 practice rounds in the hallway to get the timing right with your group. You proved the world that you could do anything that you set your mind to, and I know you'll continue doing that in the future. I can't wait to see what great things you do in the future. This video is for Angelise Valentin. Angie, congratulations, you did it. I'm proud of you. You know, when I think about you, aside from thinking about how cool you are to be around, how funny you are, how real you are, what will forever stand out to me is how freaking strong you are. I don't think you get enough credit for coming into square every day and having your mom in the building with you. Like, that's crazy. I know I couldn't be able to handle that. And we've talked about it plenty of times, how you've always felt like you like had to be perfect because they could just go to your mom at any second and then who knows? But listen, you did it. And now you're off to college. An opportunity to start your own journey. And all I want to say to that is just be great. You don't know how excited I am for you and this next chapter in your life. Angie, my little sister, just be great, stay strong, stay tough, and keep that same energy. I'm going to miss you. 
Take care. Hey guys, congrats to everybody. I wish you guys the best. Um, next year, I will be attending UMass Lowell, studying in psychology and then pursuing my career and getting my master's in social work. Um, I wish y'all the best and we finally made it. So Lauren is an interesting one. I don't think she would have taken AP English if we gave her a choice. So I'm glad we didn't give her a choice. I'm also glad that I didn't meet her until her senior year because according to her, she was a monstrous, horrible person as a freshman. Um, so I'm glad I got to skip that phase. The thing about her as a student and the thing that I am just so jealous that her college professors will get to experience as well is that as a reader, she is so humble. She goes into every text and actually experiences some form of like wonder and curiosity and uses that to explore what the author is saying. And that comes through in her response papers, this sense of, I'm not even sure if this is right, but I'm gonna take a chance. And that's something teachers are always telling students to do. And yet at the same time, are kind of grading you when you get it wrong. But it just came through so beautifully in her response papers and in class discussions that she would take a chance on what might be happening in the text. And, you know, honestly, usually she was right. So I guess it gets easier to take a chance there. Um, it's going to serve you well in college and beyond. Don't ever lose that sense of wonder. I'm excited to announce that I will be attending Georgetown University this fall to major in sociology. This message is for Marcella. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations on finishing high school and heading off to college. I'm really excited to see what the future holds for you and I know that you are going to do so well. Um, you're such a motivated and insightful and intuitive person and you have such strong determination. So. I have no doubt that you will do just fine um, next year and the years to come. And I just wanted to say thank you for entertaining me during prom committee X block and always telling me the stories that you had and about your life. And um, I'm so appreciative that you trusted me enough after such a short time to tell me about what was going on with you. So good luck. You will do absolutely great. I have no worries about you and um, keep me keep me posted with all your future successes. Best of luck. Bye. My plan for next year is to attend UMass Lowell and pursue a degree in biomedical engineering. Congratulations on your graduation, Clive Vaughn. You've done amazing. I'm so glad and so privileged that I got to know you this year as a student. I've seen you about the school. You've always carried yourself extremely well. You're a mature young man. You've always been extremely respectful and polite and thankful for everything that I've ever done for you. You will do amazing next year and beyond. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. You've done absolutely amazing and you even excelled in the remote online learning. You were never happy. You always wanted to get a better grade and you did that. Your quarter four grade was absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Clive Vaughan. I'm so sorry I didn't get to spend more time with you in Crystal Ray, but I know that you will do us proud whatever you do. Congratulations. <laughs>